A community alert tonight as we learn those monitors installed to keep tabs on plane noise are validating all of your complaints. ABC 15's Nohe Lani Graf live in Phoenix with the very latest. Nohe, this is like a big, I told you so, to the FAA. Exactly, Katie and Stephanie. Take this neighborhood, for example, FQ Story. On one day, in just two hours, monitors recorded 27 planes flying overhead. In fact, I hear one right now. And the noise levels spiked every time on those monitors, which is exactly why you can see neighbors in this area want that to change. But tonight we learned the FAA is only willing to make two changes. It's the sound Nicole Marquez has been making noise about for months. What's standing out to me is the 76 decimal, which is the loudest aircraft. With noise monitoring results from 37 valley sites finally in her hand. In this specific situation is we have, it's funny, we have planes flying over. Backing up what she and so many others have been saying, what Marquez was hoping to hear at a community meeting was progress. Instead, we're doing what we can and you're just going to have to wait longer, which is what we've been hearing for the last six to seven months now. The city's aviation director promising the FAA has agreed to make changes. The catch? It'll only look at two routes, the Grand and Levine corridors. That includes Marquez's house, but she says it's not just about her block. It's about saving people's sanity. It's about the health effects that are starting to happen when you have black soot pouring into your house from these jets flying over. It's about your kid not being able to hear you read a story to them at night. With six neighboring houses put on the market just this month, she says at this point, only actions would speak louder than words or planes. Really difficult to trust. So next, the FAA will present alternatives to those two flight paths to the city of Phoenix, and it will go up for discussion. In the meantime, if you want to know what the noise levels look like in your area, we have posted the results on ABC15.com. Katie? Yeah, a lot of uh, really relieved homeowners to hear this news. Thanks so much, Nohe. Well, let's not forget the city of Phoenix is investigating who knew about the FAA flight route changes and when. We told you last week a bombshell memo indicates city staff did have advanced contact with the agency. Now we've learned an outside law firm has been hired to dig into just how early they knew and how far down the chain of command it went.